Beginning the broadcast, over the past several months, producers have seen farm income expectations rise along with commodity market prices. Back in March, the UNL Bureau of Business Research report projected Nebraska farm income for 2021 to be just over $5.7 billion. UNL Extension Ag Policy Specialist Brad Lubin says there's lots to understand when it comes to farm income, safety net programs, and potential changes in ag policy. Market Journal's Bill Dodd has the story. Looking back over the last few years of data, Nebraska farm income has rebounded from a low of $2.2 billion in 2017 to more than $5.5 billion in 2020. Likewise, 2021 is projected to be a solid year in terms of farm income. With a much stronger farm economy today than we had just a few short years ago, there have been several factors leading to the rebound producers have seen in overall income. You know, in the last two years, uh, 2020 and our projections here for 2021, we have seen, in spite of numerous shocks, we have seen uh, strong demand growth, particularly in late 2020, uh, that have helped bring up 2020's projections at the end of the year and certainly have, have started us down the path for a very strong 2021. We haven't caught all of the market rally here in 2021. We made projections earlier this spring before the last couple months of, of market price movement has continued. Now, some of that's been up and down, and so it's, uh, you can't put too much confidence in such an early projection. But, uh, but, but clearly, there's much more market strength right now with the recovery from uh, COVID and with uh, a little bit of a stronger trade scenario than we saw during uh, uh, sort of the depths of, of trade conflict in, in 2017 and 2018 and 2019. Uh, we simply are in a much stronger uh, market situation than we were uh, just a few years ago. With all the shocks seen in the agricultural markets over the last few years, including trade conflict and COVID shutdowns, it's a welcome sight to see projected farm incomes be on the upswing. However, one factor that's played a large role in rebounding income is the assistance of ad hoc safety net payments. Well, that's a very important caveat to this rosy farm income projection. Uh, yes, farm income's rebounded uh, from around two to, to nearly uh, six billion here over the last uh, uh, couple years, in spite of uh, the, uh, the shocks that we saw, particularly the COVID shock here throughout 2020 and early 21. But we survived that shock in large measure because of ad hoc assistance. Uh, more than $2 billion or, or nearly $2 billion in Nebraska of ad hoc assistance payments over the, in 2020. Uh, some continuation of those payments here in 2021, we have seen ad hoc payments first for trade support in the midst of ongoing trade conflict, then for COVID relief. Uh, we have seen ad hoc payments become a very substantial part of the bottom line. When considering the sustainability of these ad hoc payments, it would be prudent to expect many of these safety net programs to taper off in the near future, as market prices have been on a positive trajectory as of late. Now, we saw dramatic uh, price recovery in the marketplace since really late summer of 2020, but those payments were already scheduled. And so we saw substantial ad hoc payments even as we saw rebounding uh, market opportunities. Come 2021, we see substantial growth in market opportunities. We see us falling back dramatically on those ad hoc relief payments. There's still some COVID relief payments coming out the door now. There are still certain proposals for additional assistance or relief uh, uh, yet to be implemented, uh, but one can expect that that really is disappearing rather quickly. Uh, nearly two billion of payments in 2020, something less than a billion dollars of payments in, in due or likely uh, to be paid in 2021, and very little prospect, frankly, of substantial uh, support going forward. So the market's recovered. We don't need as much assistance. But we have to recognize that, that uh, the income scenario or the income projection has to balance rising market opportunities, declining safety net uh, protection. Uh, it's a better economic forecast. It's also uh, a little more market, well, it's certainly more market oriented and, and therefore a little more risky. With the likely possibility of ad hoc payments significantly decreasing in the near future, 
Producers should be prepared to manage their operations for improved market prospects, as management decisions will likely be dictated more by market factors than policy decisions. But it's also critical for producers to make sound risk management decisions. If today's markets are an opportunity, then you have to figure out how to manage and, and take advantage of that opportunity. Uh, and not just for this year, but maybe for, for coming years. Uh, right now, it's also balancing those improved prospects in the marketplace with uh, declining support from the government. So cash flow, even with stronger prices, cash flow may look a little bit different this year because government payments may not be coming in and that higher priced grain may still be in the bin at the end of the year. And so cash flow issues in 2021 are, are going to be an issue, going to be a question. Uh, producers have to figure out how to manage the financial position they're in, how to figure out how to figure out how to manage their, their market opportunities and their production decisions. As prices have ratcheted up, so have inputs and uh, making sound production decisions that match the economics of, of the time are, are critical. Right now, the best bet is to keep a close eye on the markets and stay as informed as possible on any potential farm policy changes. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Bill Dodd.